to believe in you. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, February 2nd, Groundhog's Day. I'm Reed Leatherman. And I'm Sheridan Jeffrey. And here's what's going on at BHS. Are you looking for a place to discuss and defend your ideas about life, politics, social issues, music, art, literature, the environment, and religion? Attend BHS's Philosophy Club every Thursday from 3 to 4 in Ms. Thompson's room, B2420. See Junior's Kaylee Watson or Nate Davis for more details. There are many items piling up in the cafe that have been left behind by students. If you have lost something, please check the table in the middle of the cafe by the flag. We will be donating any unclaimed items on Wednesday, so make sure to check at the table before then. Next week, the art department is partnering with Brownsburg Deca to sell Valentine's cards to students for $2. These will be sold in all lunches from February 5th through the 9th and will allow students to write a personal note to someone of their choice. The Equality Alliance Club meets every Tuesday after school from 3 to 4 p.m. in Mr. Lee's room, Senior Academy 212. Stop by for an all-inclusive and safe place for friendly discussion, friendly people, and a safe environment. If you want to learn more about the club, be sure to stop by to check it out. The Equality Alliance Club is an LGBT plus inclusive club. Be sure to check out the paw print online at www.bhsnews.net for a Q&A with this week's Student of the Week, Junior Shai Sumter Bay written by junior Olivia Ramirez. Also on the site, look for junior Kellen Kermeen's top picks for best movie, TV show, game, and podcast of 2017. The 2018 Hop for Hope event will take place on Tuesday, February 20th at the Sky Zone in Plainfield. There will be a dodgeball tournament, slam dunk contest, food, karaoke, and open jump time. You can join the fun with a minimum of just $5 donation. All proceeds will benefit Sheltering Wings. Next week, the Brownsburg PSG will be selling flowers in the lunchroom on February 7th through the 13th. The flowers are $2 and they will be delivered along with a message to the person of your choice on Valentine's Day, Wednesday, February 14th during third period. The money raised will be used to help fund scholarships for BHS students. So don't forget to bring some extra cash to lunch next week to send someone a special flower. I caught up with the Winter Guard director about their season. The Winter Guard season already in play. We caught up with the Guard director about the season and what goes on. Um, so Winter Guard is a sport, what we call the sport of the arts. It's like um, putting together um, something very athletic and also like being artistic about it. So you have like flags and rifles and sabers and we spin those and we do choreography with them and we also dance um, on this huge tarp and it's basically putting together a show. It's kind of like marching band for Color Guard, but indoors. Ugh, plans for <laughs> Our plans for this season are to make a really good show that people are going to um, like and be inspired by. Um, the kids are really excited. Our, our students are really excited about um, what we're doing, and so is the staff. Um, it's very new and very different um, compared to what we've done in the past. My goal for this season for both groups is to put together a show that's going to not only be creative, but also really sh showcase um, our students very, very well. Good luck to all the guards this season. I'm Sheridan Jeffrey, BHS TV. I can't wait to make it out to an event. Me too. Now it's time for sports. Hey Wes, what do you got for us today? Hey guys, it's going to be a very busy weekend for BHS sports. Last night, the girls swimming and dive teams hosted sectional prelims at BHS. The ladies qualified in all 24 individual swims in all three relay events. Finishing in the top spots for the dogs were the 200 medley relay team of Maria Schultz, Abby Callis, Aria Ziegler, and Julia Stonebreaker. Jenny Driesen in the 200 IM and the 400 relay team of Jenny Driesen, Rory Smith, Maria Gutzweiler, and Miranda Peak. The finals will take place at BHS tomorrow. Good luck. And on Wednesday. The freshman boys basketball team lost to HSC 47-41. to 
The Bulldogs were in the game throughout, closing to within four late, but were not able to come away with the win. The team was led on offense by Talibay Diallo, who finished with 17 points, while Tyree Lackey followed with 13 points and eight boards. Let's take a quick look at the sports schedule for the weekend. Here's the girls' basketball sectional bracket. The dogs will take on Avon at Avon tonight at 6. The winner of that game will take on the winner of the Plainfield versus Mooresville game. The championship will be at Avon on Saturday night at 7 o'clock. Good luck, ladies. Tomorrow, the girls' swimming and diving sectional continues at 9 a.m. The JV and varsity boys' basketball teams will host Silver Creek starting at 1 p.m. And the wrestlers will compete in regionals at Mooresville. Good luck. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Chess. Now let's send it over to Skimley with a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hi, Skimley. Hey, guys. It looks like it's going to be a pretty gloomy weekend. Today should be sunny all day, but don't be fooled by the sun because it's going to be a high of just 24 degrees. Saturday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 32. No precipitation is expected. And on Sunday, expect some light snow throughout the day with a high of 35 degrees. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Emily. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. And have a great day, and we'll see you on Monday.